closer. <laughs> it's an exciting time. The school's yeah. almost upon us. Yes. We count down the days. Kids, uh, are they anxious to come back? They are. They're uh -huh. excited. Yeah. I mean, I think maybe at first they might be, they might realize summer's ending, but they get excited to come. We've got some fun events to kind of ease the students in. Uh, right now at the school, we have kindergarten camp going on. Um, and we're really excited about that. Um, we have um, animals there for the kids. Little hedgehog was there and some other little activities for the kids to kind of ease into getting to know their classmates and their teachers. Oh, so you uh, give them a, a kind of a teaser experience of what kindergarten's going to be like, except when they actually show up for kindergarten, the animals are gone. They're, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's like, Sorry, kids, we were, yeah. uh, we were it's kidding. All, it's all book work from here on out. <laughs> But really, it's a great time. Uh, it's a, a anxiety uh, ridden, uh, but not just for the kids, the parents too. For the parents, yeah. So um, when my daughter, uh, well, it would be nine years ago now, started, <laughs> it, it, was, it was kind of a, a realization that even being the principal, I had some anxiety about my daughter going to school. And I, I had quite, <laughs> quite a bit of uh, ability to be in the classroom too. Um, so j we just wanted to make sure we're making parents feel comfortable with some of the routines, the procedures, some of those things that as much as you want to communicate well are kind of unspoken. That way they can see, get the feel of the building, the community, um, and that way they feel more comfortable dropping their kids off. That's, that's important. We want the kids to feel comfortable and the parents to feel confident they're in the right place. Well, we had uh, great testimony to uh, how uh, Paragon impacts uh, the students. Last week we had uh, a student who's leaving Paragon because she, she finished the eighth grade yeah. and it's time to move on. <laughs> Uh, but it's uh, it's a tough time because Paragon ends at eighth grade. It does, yeah. Uh, kids scatter uh, mm -hmm. to various uh, high schools. That's right. Where do they all go? So um, Paragon kind of sits, we, we reside still in the JPS district. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our students will go back uh, to Jackson High. Uh, we have a nice partnership for athletics with Lumen Christie. So a handful of our students will go over to Lumen Christie. Um, and then they'll go to Western and Northwest and then just a smattering mm -hmm. of uh, other schools. Nice. A few events this week, uh, kindergarten, camp one, but on uh, Thursday you've got the, uh, I think you might be the number one customer for the Kona ice truck. I think we keep them going, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They might retire <laughs> early because of us. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is a great activity. So um, we've added the balloon artist. I think that'll be fun. Um, but this is the petting zoo. There's just a lot of fun. Something for every, uh, everybody there. It's free, open to the public. Uh, no pressure there. We're not, we're not a, a sales team that's going to be there to get you to come to Paragon. <laughs> but if you're in the area, whether there's, there might be t-ball or Little League or something going on, um, but you're welcome to swing on over uh, to the school. Uh, pony rides will be there, little baby animals will be there, there's always the llamas there, um, just a lot of fun. Um, and uh, we'll have Kona Ice. If you've never had Kona Ice, it's worth the trip in and of itself. <laughs> You're on the uh, corner of a big residential area, so uh, neighbors, uh, people who aren't even uh, considering Paragon, all are welcome. Mm -hmm. That's right, even if you have uh, grandkids from out of town, stop on over, free event. A lot of grandparents will stop in with their kids that are visiting, so it's great. It's yeah. good, good to connect, and a lot of, lot of families that have moved on to high school end up stopping in as well, just to say hello. Old home week, they come back. <laughs> uh, last week you had a uh, big event, the uh, backpack uh, we giveaway. We did, we did a backpack giveaway. Uh, we had a lot, of, uh, a lot of good turnout from the community there. We had Kona Ice as well. <laughs> that was always nice on a hot day. Uh, but that turned out really well. We got, were able to just uh, kind of get everybody a starter into um, some of the school supplies. Um, but it's a nice backpack. We still have backpacks if people need that. Just give the school a call. Uh, we'd, be, we'd love to help out um, as well. And again, that, you don't have to be a Paragon student for that. Mm -hmm. We just want to make sure kids are ready for school. Now your brother-in-law doesn't own that Kona ice truck, does he? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. All right. It's there a lot. <laughs> Uh, over the summer, uh, you've had some uh, projects. What's uh, new? What will uh, people see that's uh, different at 
uh, Paragon this fall? So not not a ton of um, new, um, but just updating. Uh, we were really we really try to be consistent with keeping our building. This is actually our 25th anniversary going into that. No kidding. So in honor of the 25th anniversary, we were updating our fire system. We thought that would be a really nice gift to the school. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's that's what we're pulling a lot of wire right now, and the guys working on that are just wonderful. And make sure the school's safe. Nothing was wrong with the last one, but just mm -hmm. it's good good to update from time to time. Um, so no major uh, remodels, but uh, making sure the building looks in tip-top shape for everybody to come back. Wow, well, I can't believe it's been 25 years. I know. I think when I think about this, I'm going into my 20th year there. When I started, I don't know, 23 years old, <laughs> it, it seemed like it had been there forever. And now when I think back, I was like, wow, that, <laughs> that was at kind of the beginning of, hmm. of the building. So Institution now. It is. It is. What uh, grade levels do you have openings for students this So fall? we still have openings um, in first grade, second grade, and third grade. We have a few openings in fourth grade, then we also have openings in seventh and eighth grade. So really most of the grade levels, but really that lower elementary is where we have um, openings. So first, second, and third. So if you're interested in a, in a great school um, that takes great care of kids, um, we would love, we'd love to have you check us out. Do you have some staff changes over the summer? So we've had very limited staff changes. We've had one staff member move back uh, home to Grand Rapids, uh, and we were able to move another staff member into that, that position. But uh, other than that, we've been very, very fortunate to be very stable with staffing and uh, continuing to grow uh, from the su successes that we've learned from over the years. Yeah, everyone's, uh, everyone in education having trouble uh, hiring mm -hmm. teachers. And I think in the governor's budget, there's some incentive. There is, yeah. Even it's kind of nice. Uh, part of that is uh, you can get a stipend for your student teaching, which that would have been nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's great. I'm glad that they're, they're addressing that. I think that's a much needed um, entity to, to draw um, kids that are leaving high school, going in, into college uh, to go into education. It's a great career field. Um, and I think uh, we need more people going into it. Yeah. And I think uh, teachers that are um, certified in other states can now transfer uh, their certifications to Michigan. Yeah, they've streamlined that. It used to be a little bit of an arduous process, um, but yeah, they've, they've streamlined that, which I'm, I'm grateful for. Okay, we, do, we do draw in teachers from out of state. That's yeah. helpful for us. So how many Creech kids are in uh, Paragon this? So we have three Creech kids in uh, Paragon this year. My oldest will be in eighth grade. And then just because we wanted to keep the fun going, we just had a new baby girl born 15 Great. days ago. So, no kidding. Yeah. So I've got the coffee here ready for me. But uh, yeah, so little baby Clara. So wow. we're excited for that. So we wanted to do our part in keeping enrollment going strong at Paragon. All right. Well, you, uh, you're not going to be able to retire anytime soon either. No. Kind of keeps me around. Keeps yeah. me young. <laughs> Job security too. <laughs> That's right. Well, if anyone's interested in checking out Paragon, just yes. uh, pop in th uh, Thursday, right? Yeah, stop out Thursday evening. We also have an event at Ella Sharp Park um, on August 8th at, from 10 to 2. That's free. Stop on out to the museum. Always wonderful uh, to go through. Something new to see every time. Great. Good to see you, Ben. Mm -hmm. Good to see you, too. Thanks for having me on. You bet. Principal at Paragon Charter Academy, Ben Creech. Uh, we've got more coming up. Uh, we'll look at uh, hockey opportunities for... Uh, Youngsters next on The Morning Show. Stay tuned.